Today, we got a battery from Solar Age. Let's open it up. Our user's manual says we can charge at 50 amps. We can discharge at 100 amps. Okay, and here's the battery. It's a little bit different case. It's almost like a Group 24, but I think it's a little taller. And something I haven't seen on a lithium iron phosphate battery, the terminals are diagonal. All right, so let's get a weight on this thing. There we go, we've come in at 22.8 pounds. So we're gonna charge this 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery up and then we'll do a capacity test. So we're charging at close to 30 amps. We'll come back when it's complete. All right, so the battery is completely charged. We've got it hooked up to do a capacity test. And so all we need to do is just turn on the inverter and that will start our test. There we go, we're pulling 53 amps, about 700 watts, using the heater as the load. So we'll just let that continue on and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, so we're down to 1%, 99.28 amp hours, 1,239 watt hours. So we're almost complete here. Okay, here it comes. There it is, 100 amp hours, 1,247 watt hours. So we have fully Pass the capacity test. Oh, we hear the inverter beeping over here. Let's see if we can't get to 101, right? There we go, we got 101. All right, let's go ahead and stop the test. So we pulled 101.12 amp hours, 1,000. 259 watt hours all right so now let's tear this battery apart and I've already got the lid started so let's go ahead and there we go now check this out it looks like a dolly it just says BMS on it yeah it looks exactly like a dolly but it just says BMS So I guess we can just call it a dolly style BMS. <laughs> Could be a clone or something. I do see that we have a temperature probe here. We got seven gauge for the positive and seven gauge for the negative. And they put the wires in these looms. I guess that's a nice touch. Let's see if we can get this stuff out. So there's the cells. And we got this thick piece of, looks like a fiber board that separates the BMS from the cells. The, the BMS is screwed onto this. It's very thick. Let's see if I can get, ah, there we go. Okay, and there's the thermal probe. So those are pretty well stuck down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get those out. So we'll just cut away some of this um, heat shrink. Okay, so we got a QR code there. Let's see if I can scan it. And we're not getting a scan, it's not reading it. So. Yeah, we don't know what kind of cells these are, but I can tell 
the bus bars, they're bolted together. All right, so I guess that's about all we can tell there. Let's try to do, let's try to freeze this up and see if we got low temperature protection at least. All right, so I'm gonna start charging this thing and we'll see it, the current going in and then I'm gonna freeze this to see if it'll stop charging. Putting in 41.2 amps. So let's see if we can freeze that thing. There it goes. Ooh, froze my finger. Ow. So yeah, low temperature charging protection it does have. Let's restart the charging here. There we go. We're back to charging. All right, there we go. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for the video. I'll leave links in the description. Give me your comments about what you think about this battery. And I'll catch you on the next one.